afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Harvest Fest Parade. This wonderful day in September, September 19th. The weather is absolutely wonderful for a parade today. And this is proudly presented by the Payne Arcade Business Association. I'm Kathy Berkey, this is my husband Jeff Berkey, and we are so thrilled to be here on the east side today on the corner of Payne Avenue and Case, right across from the East Side Financial Center. It's great to see the kids out with their families, and we're looking forward to a great parade. Our first, uh, first entry coming down the hill is the Washington Tech Color Guards. They will also be carrying the flags, so everyone please at home even uh, salute your flag. It's a very important part of our country, the freedoms that we have, the things that we can do days like today to honor our men and women that have served. This great group of youth is a driving force in today's parade. Their color guard leads the way of nearly 70 units. There are an additional 30 junior ROTC cadets working the parade route as spotters and cleanup for this event. The spotters are wearing the orange staff shirts for their, their visual recognition, so when you see them, say thank you and uh, Good job for getting out here and helping with the parade today. As we're sitting here waiting for the things to come through, I would like to thank all of the people that have helped out. Uh, the East St. Paul Lions Club is a big part of this. There was a pancake breakfast earlier today. Pancakes were delicious, by the way. We'd like to thank Anderson Shoes for allowing us to set up here in their parking lot and announce the parade from their parking lot. And also for uh, setting up a tent here. This is very nice of them seems like all of the businesses up and down Payne and Arcade are involved and have helped out in some way, whether it's selling buttons, being a sponsor. They all, they all pull together, and that's what makes us such a great little community. They are also selling the Harvest Fest buttons at several of the uh, local uh, establishments. We've got uh, Highway Federal Credit Union, Ideal Printers, um, Schweitzes, a lot of different things. Buttons are still for sale today, and uh, with those buttons, there are several uh, opportunities for some savings up and down the up and down the streets. So I would encourage you to go in and uh, one, one of the establishments and buy a button. Support the Payne Arcade Business Association and the Harvest Festival Parade. After the Washington Tech Color Guards is coming the Arcade Phelan Legion Post 577. They have marchers here with their flags. It's always a great way to kick off a parade is to have your colors out in front, get everybody to stand up and get, get ready for a nice parade. The Arcade Fail on American Legion Post 577 was chartered in 1966. Going by way of the Grand Marshal, let's see. The Grand Marshal this year is Ed Burgess, and he is being uh, well, there by Greg Rosenberg, Greg's auto body. But Ed is, Ed is the uh, Grand Marshal this year. Very, very well deserved. We had Dan Bostrom coming by. He Amy Brenmon. Uh, here comes Dan now. Dan and Amy up on the fire trucks. Dan was first elected to public office as a member of the St. Paul Board of Education in 1980. He's been in office for 10 years. Majority of that. We have Amy here for a quick interview, if we'd like. Amy, how are you today? Thank you for being in the parade. Tell us a little bit about what's going on over here in your district. It's wonderful. Great lineup. About 10 times more people in the audience than last year. It's great. And I'm out here just showing my support for the east side and my reelection. All right. Perfect, thank you very much. Thanks, Amy, enjoy the parade. Who do we have next coming up here? Look. We have the Ramsey County Commissioner, Jim, James McDonough. And we'll try and get Jim over here if we can for a quick interview. Jim was born and raised on the east side, continues to live here, he's a lifelong resident. He's been very involved in the uh, transportation aspect. He's a national leader in the transportation, as a matter of fact. He's also served as a commissioner on the, as a commissioner on a variety of committees, everything from youth services to mental health to supporting our aging population. Him and his wife Carol still live here, and they have proud grandparents. <laughs> I would like to thank Porky's because they came down and helped set up our 
thing here, our tent and everything. And we have water, we've got everything we need, a table. And then they came down early and set this all up for us. It's a great place to announce a parade from. So thank you to Porky's. And we've got a beautiful location here in the parking lot of Anderson Shoes on the corner of Payne and, and Case and a great crowd out here uh, watching this parade on this wonderful day. There are events happening all week. Uh, there's a three-on-three -three basketball tournament sponsored by the YMCA. It's the Harvest Fest YMCA basketball tournament. That'll be a day uh, from 2 to 5 p.m. There's also a barbecue special at m &H today. And here we have the Harding High School drum line, which is made up of approximately 30 percussionists during the school year, grades 9 through 12. This ensemble is a performing group that executes a minimum of 10 appearances per year, including parades. This group is led by Harding drumline co coordinator Robert Pilot and band director Jennifer Gruppner. Let's give them all a big hand. They are wonderful people and out here supporting the east side. And they do great work, I can tell by listening to them. Next coming up, we have the St. Paul East Lions. As a proud member of the Lions organization, it's great to see them in the parade. Their president this year is Tracy Nelson, who is also this year's parade and buttons program coordinator. She's been very, very busy. Beautiful float they have. It is a beautiful float today. It's uh, here from 5M, 5M6. Great little uh, lion up there saying hello to everybody. Lions is a wonderful organization supporting communities in the areas of learning and IA and all kinds of wonderful things. Next going by, we have Janice Rettman. Ramsey Ram County Commissioner, District 3, Janice Rettman. A few of the things that uh, happened during Harvest Fest, it's uh, today they had a uh, pancake breakfast, as I mentioned earlier, and that was very good. It's, they have that every year. They have a kickoff event. The uh, Harvest Fest Markets Place is being held up at the Salvation Army, right across from their building, up at 1019 Payne. Uh, they have a, uh, there was probably a dozen, 14 tents set up there, so it's a nice little marketplace. Other things going on today, the YMCA is having a three-on-three -three basketball tournament later this afternoon from 2 to 5, so we would urge you to stop by and check that out. We've also got Sandlot Baseball going on at 958 Jesse at 1 o'clock, sponsored by Polly's Coffee Co. Sounds like a fun time, something to check out. Uh, let's see, we also have Lucky Buck Drawings at Governor's, so that's the Harvest Fest deals kickoff. Uh, that actually happened yesterday, but I know that there are still a lot of deals uh, with the buttons up and down the streets, so urge you to stop by the local establishments and check those out. We'd also like to mention some of our sponsors for today as we have a little time here. The MVETs, uh, the Boy Scouts, Anderson Funeral Services. As we read some of these, keep in mind these are local businesses that uh, support this parade and support this oh, Harvest yeah. Fest. Uh, so, so please, uh, please support these businesses as we uh, mention them throughout the parade today. There's Kendall's Ace Hardware, Louis Bar, um, Button Works, Thumb Things. Right. We do have uh, the president of ESNDC here with us, John Vaughn. John, would you like to come over and say a few words? Love to. Wonderful. Got a microphone here for you. So Welcome. tell us a little bit about what's going on with the ESNDC. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about what's going on on the east side. I know there's a lot of exciting things, and uh, you're kind of uh, got the pulse on all of it. So, well, uh, this spring we won the uh, Pioneer Press uh, Munch Madness contest. We beat University Avenue and Selby Avenue as the best destination commercial corridor for dining in the city of St. Paul. Congratulations! That's great. It's wonderful. Um, we've got a lot of new houses going up. Um, the uh, our housing sale prices in the neighborhood, and I know you appreciate this, you're a banker, um, is uh, back to uh, pre-recession sales prices. Um, so it's, it's, it's looking up. Um, the uh, coolest thing in the neighborhood, um, in my opinion, is uh, uh, Farnsworth Aerospace Magnet School, which is now K through 12. We have, uh, we have middle school kids now uh, um, 
doing ground school and flight simulators. Over Wonderful. Here. Yeah, Wonderful. yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of lot of really positive activity in the neighborhood. Um, people, uh, you can just walk through and see people rehab in their homes, and and uh, it's nice to see dumpsters and uh, work permits uh, pasted on doors. And I I I, I can I can uh, um, say that uh, the east side is is uh, on the upswing these days. Wonderful. And this this parade is a great example. Um, they they brought it back three years ago after I think it had been you know on hiatus for I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how many years but uh, almost ten yeah the first year it was we could only use half the street and there were like two spectators um, well there's a lot more than that today <laughs> yeah the, the, the second year was last year and there were like four high counters about 400 spectators and, and I'm not sure how many floats and now this year it's just it's just it's just packed it's great wonderful so, yeah. wonderful John yeah. thank you so Thanks much for stopping welcome. by today yeah my thank pleasure you. thank you thank you. Now coming by, we have the St. Paul Early Childhood Family Education. Uh, offers parents an early uh, childhood education for families with children between birth and kindergarten age. Based on the idea that family provides a child's first and most important learning environment, and parents are a child's first and most significant teachers. It's like they got a great group out there today, blowing some bubbles and having some balloons and having a great time. And it ties right in with what we were just talking about. All the people here, the children that are with parents, it's nice to see the kids out enjoying a parade with their parents and just enjoying a beautiful day outside instead of sitting inside or whatever they want to do nowadays. But uh, there's a lot of people out here, a lot of children, and that is just fantastic to see. Kids look like they're having a great time walking down the street. Looks like they got some goodies to pass out. It's great to see the kids out here with their parents enjoying this wonderful day and being a part of the parade and a part of the community. A few more things that um, last night uh, they had the Mounds Park Sports Bar. The James Zachary Band played there last night. So there's a lot of things associated with Harvest Fest. It's not just the parade. This is a focal point, a huge focal point because it brings everybody out at one time but uh, what a great festival it is there's a whole lot of things going on and you get a button they're three dollars as Kathy said earlier there's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, deals to be made yet to be had with the three dollar button you get a lot of things off so come on down and enjoy Harvest Fest it's we'll keep going on after the parade okay do we have Eddie the it's like we've got um Another great, great float coming by here. Let's see who. St. Paul Public Schools, looking good. Kids out enjoying the day. The staff, students, and families would like to wish everyone a happy new school year. All the children are back in school now, and having a good time getting back with all of their friends. And after the uh, St. Paul Public School, looks like we have Schweitz's Bar. This is right across the street, just about from us. Just down the street, I should say. As we mentioned before, the Grand Marshal is Ed Burgess. He's the owner of Schweitz's Saloon and Eatery. And he's being honored this year as the Grand Marshal. And I think we are lucky enough to have Eddie here today. He's going to come over and join us, I believe. So we'll kind of watch watch his gro group go by. I know that there are um, some specials over at Schweitz's Bar using that uh, that button for the uh, Payne Arcade Harvest Fest. So great, great thing. While we're waiting for Eddie here, we've got the East Winds of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Uh, looks like we've got uh, Marv Copany out there and uh, Lonnie Pache and a couple others. Lonnie's had his business here on Payne Arcade for several years. Um, great part of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Euros is the mysterious wind of the uh, four brothers of the winds. So um, look for them in upcoming Winter Carnival events. A wonderful group, uh, do a lot of things for Mike the Bussey. community in the St. Paul Winter Carnival. We've got Mike Bussey and all kinds of folks out there. So um, This year's East one is Dave Maternick. I don't see him right at this point. He's probably with the royal family this year. They are in quite a few parades. They go just about every weekend. But it's great to see the East Winds here in kind of their backyard. A lot of our East Winds come from the east side and... Uh, a bit of a large part of the, the community in the St. Paul Winter Carnival for many, many years. St. Paul Winter Carnival does celebrate its 130th year um, coming up in January, from January 27th through February 7th. So lo looking forward to that, although, uh, you know, we got cold weather coming up. That's not always a, 
a wonderful thing to look forward to, but uh, we'll enjoy this beautiful day that we have today. Next, we have the Sandlot Baseball. We have a uh, few people here. It looks like ROTC. Where is that? Sandlot Baseball is uh, sponsored by Polly's Coffee Cove and uh, will be happening uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock at uh, 958 Jesse. We also have some members here of the ROTC. Wonderful organization for the for the kids here. Next up, we have the Royal Credit Union. The Royal Credit Union, formerly known as Realtors Credit Union, is just a few blocks north, a few miles north of our event. RCU, we love helping people to make their financial lives easier. Stop by and see us at our location at Mac Many, Many and Roselong or online at rcu.org. Next up is David Glass. David Glass is running for Ward 5 City Council. David and his wife are from the St. Paul area here. He's a Native American. He had a restaurant over in Como, and now he's uh, trying to run for Ward 5 City Council. David's been a longtime member of the community. He's uh, been involved in several uh, community or organizations, uh, H Mark, Spark, um, always trying to uh, do good things for, for the community in which he lives. So uh, congratulations, David, on your run, and uh, good luck. Uh, Next, we have the Payne Phelan District 5 Council, the local community council, and their mission to improve our Payne Phelan District five neighborhoods by engaging education and empowering all residents in our diverse community. Next up we have Face to Face located at 1165 Arcade. Face to Face empowers youth to overcome barriers and strive today toward healthy and self-sufficient lives. They're a nonprofit organization dedicated to the needs of youth ages 11 to 23. They offer health care, counseling and programs for homeless youth. Founded in 1972, Face to Face helps more than 3,300 youth annually. I was fortunate to uh, attend a fundraising event for Face to Face a few months ago, and it was a wonderful thing, and the, the stories that we heard from the people that they support were truly amazing. So, wonderful organization uh, here on the east side, helping a lot of, uh, a lot of kids that uh, are kind of struggling in life. So, wonderful, wonderful job for them. I hear some sirens coming here. That can only mean the St. Paul Vulcans. St. Paul oh, Winter Carnival Vulcans. St. Paul Winter Carnival Vulcans. Yes. Wonderful organization. Uh, been a part of the St. Paul Winter Carnival for a year. Uh, they re every year there is a new Fire King and Volcanus Rex and his crew hit the streets in, uh, the, in January. On the 28th of January, I believe, they'll be hitting the streets this year. Always a wonderful organization. Do a lot of things for the community. Uh, recently held a Booyah fundraiser. Um, they've also formed Balkan Community Charities, which does um, community outreach and uh, funds a lot of community events, uh, nonprofits. So uh, we really thank the St. Paul Winter Carnival Vulcans for being here today. I think they were led by their uh, Volcanus Rex, Jacques Pline. So welcome to them. They're kind of scattered out throughout the parade as they give out bees to any willing participants. They have fun uh, doing a lot of parades. I'll bet they do uh, probably 200 parades a year. And right ahead of the Vulcan crew, we had the East Side Area Business Association uh, committed to being an organization that provides meaningful connections to the diverse businesses, cultures, and community organizations. After that, it looks like we have the Sunrise Bank coming up here. We'll wait for them for just a few minutes. Uh, there have been some changes in the lineup today, um, and we'll get to those as we go through here. We we'll kind of adjust, and if we seem like we're lost once in a while, it's because we are. <laughs> they change the lineup on us, and that's just fine. We'll kind of go with the flow here. But uh, again, getting back to some of our sponsors, Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, uh, and we'd be very remiss if we did not thank the St. Paul Police Department for all that they do for the whole community, especially during days like this for the parade. So thank you very much for the St. Paul Police for all you do. We have Sunrise Banks here. Uh, 
their first car being driven by Tammy Klinkhammer, who is also the president of the Paint Arcade Harvest Festival Association, Paint Arcade Business uh, Association, doing the uh, sponsoring the uh, Paint Arcade Harvest Festival today. So we welcome uh, Sunrise Banks to the parade. They're wonderful supporters of the community. I uh, have a location over on Arcade as well as uh, several other areas. Their address is 1351, 1351 Arcade Street. It's right next to Johnson Senior High School. Next up, St. Paul DFL. Oh, looks like we have the Mosaic Christian Community. The Mosaic Christian Community is located on the southwest corner of Wheelock Parkway in Edgerton. You may recognize them as a church that puts signs everywhere promoting different community events, which include block parties, outdoor movie nights, and Easter extravaganza. Mosaic is a community looking to reflect the identity of the East Side. They have a um, Halloween get together on Halloween night at 540 East Wheelock Parkway. Next up, uh, this is the Fourth veterans. Congressional District Republicans saluting our veterans. CD4 is a Minnesota Congressional District. It's sponsored by the Republic Part Republican Party and CD4. After those folks, we have the traditional Aztec Mexican groups. There's four schools. Yaoshen Ali, Meshaka, Carotene, and Wexilin. And I apologize if I butchered those names. A lot of very yeah. colorful costumes out here. We saw these folks earlier heading to line up. Beautiful costumes. Uh, lot, lots of age groups in there from, from older to right down to the young kids. And it's wonderful to see them out here in their wonderful costumes celebrating their heritage and uh, bringing it to the St. Paul area over on the east side. It's what east side is all about. It's about celebrating heritage and, and people from all, all walks of life and all different backgrounds. They sure bring a liveliness to the parade. There's a lot of energy in this group. As we mentioned before, there's a few things going on during and after the parade. There's the, uh, after the parade, there's a Harvest Fest reception area sponsored by the American Legion. That is at 1129 Arcade Street. So immediately after the parade, there'll be a reception there for all of, most of the participants that are in the parade. The International Festival is tonight. That's at Aguirre and Payne. That's from one to six. And going by now, looks like we have the Salvation Army. Uh, Salvation Army with uh, Marnie Lofgren and the girls basketball team. Girls basketball team and staff from the East Side Salvation Army, which is located at 1019 Payne Avenue, just up the street from us here. Starting at 1 o'clock today, they'll be hosting the Harvest Fest Marketplace, a craft, food, and vendors carnival. We were by there earlier this morning. It's like they had a lot of tents set up there and going to be some, some nice things out there. So I would uh, certainly encourage everybody to go up there and check that out. They can uh, stop by the Harvest Marketplace. The vendors will be offering lots of good deals. If you have a Harvest Fest button, again, $3 a button, and there's a lot of deals to be had for that $3. Buy one, get one free, $1.50 for two grilled and all beef hot dogs and many, many other things. So go ahead and check those folks out. Again, we'd like to thank Anderson Shoes for our spot here. They've been very gracious in allowing us to park here and to announce from here. And next up, we have the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Senior, Senior royalty. royalty. King Lou Michaels and Queen Lee Shovel. Welcome to the St. Paul Winter Carnival. We've got uh, Bart Nash and Marilyn Taylor up there, Willie Taylor Sr., Grace Smith. Welcome. And next up, we have uh, Klondike Kate, Darice Kepke, singing her little heart out. Klondike Kates are a huge part of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. They go with the Carnival family, and they're chosen for their singing ability and their ability to entertain in front of people at the drop of a hat, and they do a wonderful job. And coming up next, we have the Order of the Royal Guard for the St. Paul Winter Carnival. The guards uh, do a great job protecting the royal family and, and King Boreas every year. From the uh, from the Vulcans who are trying to overthrow them to bring in the uh, 
warm weather. So we uh, we love our Royal Guard. They do a great job. Uh, look out for Rock the Palace, which is the first Saturday night of Winter Carnival. Always a great event. This year's captain is Dan Moran. He is, again, probably with the 2015 Royal Family. Because Again, they do so many parades. Sure nice to see the guards here. Spartan Staffing just went by. Uh, Spartan Staffing helps companies meet their production goals with high quality, temporary employees, and best in class service. Next up, we have MH Stores, managed by Deb West. Deb is a PABA board member, and they are located at 721 Arcade Street. MH Stores offers all kinds of food, gas, and other conveniences while on the road and around town. You can learn more about MH Stores by visiting them at mhgas.com. And again, it goes back to the community celebration that we have here. Look at all these people in the parade that are from the Payne Arcade area. It's, it's fantastic. Next up, we have Merritt Community Services, whose mission is to improve the lives of residents of St. Paul's East Side by empowering individuals, strengthening families, and promoting their independence. Merritt Community Services was founded in 1908, and they provide services to the residents of the East Side, such as employment and construction training, youth and family services, food shelves, and senior independent programming. They have helped, and they've also helped with the, the assembly of uh, Winter Carnival button packages. So thank you very much to Merritt for that. Going by a Health East Care System ambulance. Thank you to uh, the healthy system that we have here. We have one of the best health services in the Twin Cities area in the, in the entire country. Uh, we're very blessed to have that. And following them, we have the Community of Peace Academy. Their desired outcome is to educate the whole person, mind, body, and will for peace, justice, freedom, compassion, wholeness, and fullness of life for all. They are a local charter school uh, located here um, in St. Paul. Looks like they've got a lot of folks out there today, a lot of students, and it's great to see them out enjoying the community. Also uh, today we have the AHCC Harvest Family Fest. That's at the Arlington Hills Community Center, 1200 Payne. That'll be from one to four. They have food, family activities, and fun. And fun seems to be a key word here today. Everybody's having a great time. Speaking of fun, we've got the Julie Fees Family Child Care coming by. A lot of, they've got uh, all kinds of folks out there enjoying the day. Some of their child care folks. Uh, I, I'd like to be the girl in the little car being pushed by the dad. I and mean, that looks like an awful lot of fun to enjoy the parade. Got a little candy they're throwing out. Um, again, just wonderful to see the kids out here enjoying the parade, being a part of the community of the Paint Arcade Festival. Last week, uh, my wife and I, we came over to Schweitz's. They had a uh, taco feed, a fundraiser. So it's nice to, uh, this is not just a one or two day event. It's been happening. They have, uh, they had a kickoff a while back at the Fine Line Music Cafe. It's uh, been a very busy week. And Tracy, as president of our Lions Club, president of the parade association here. I mean, she's been very, very busy and done a wonderful job. This is a great parade. You look up and down the street here and uh, I see flashing lights way up, way up the hill. This is a very good parade. There's a lot of people here. They're all having a good time and it's a wonderful day. Coming by now, we have Loeffler Shoes. Larry Loeffler is the uh, owner of Loeffler Shoes, located at 959 Payne Avenue. The company was established in 1948 and they look forward to serving your Minnesota safety and occupational shoe needs. Great, great night, great car they've got there. I'm not, I don't, I'm not up on cars, but it looked like a nice old car there. Next up, we have Yours of Brothers Italian Restaurant, located at 635 Payne Avenue. They have been there since 1933. They're the oldest St. Paul family-owned Italian restaurant, and uh, they are also offering some Harvest Fest button specials. You get your first beer free with dinner. So head on out. Get some would, great Italian food and check it out. I'd encourage everyone to go over there. The food is fantastic. Next up, Entria Family Clinics. They're at 911 East Maryland, and they are providing family health care on the east side of St. Paul. Quite a few of them dressed in their bright shirts. They have the dogs out and the kids out, and that's what makes a great parade. And Terra Family Clinics are located across the Twin City area, so... Um, they provide uh, health care to 
a lot of different communities within the Twin City area, so we would encourage you to check them out. Coming by now, we have uh, Flat Earth Brewing. Flat, they are located in the Old Hams Brewery on Minnehaha. They're celebrating the opening of their new uh, tap room at 688 Minnehaha. They're an organization of fun-loving beings, always looking for an excuse to have a great time. Thank them for being in the parade. Now we have Rainmakers Irrigation, providing the East Metro with lawn irrigation systems. Driven, the unit is driven by owner Glenn Bartelme. Another a, nice old car. Uh, looks like an old Delta 98. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I that can you read it on was. the side of the car. Ah, there you go. You're cheating. <laughs> and I don't even have my glasses on. But it is a beautiful car, and thank them for being in the parade also. Next up, looks, looks like, like we have the Cub shopping cart. That's not on our list, but it's pretty plain that that's sponsored by Cub, and it's a giant shopping cart. We see it in a lot of parades throughout the Twin Cities. It's a big old shopping cart uh, wheel around the store, don't you think there, Jeff? I, I know. wouldn't want to pay the bill after filling that <laughs> thing up. I know that. <laughs> that's for sure. Again, a couple of our uh, sponsors that we have. we got a minute here. Um, Highway Federal Credit Union. Ideal Printers, Kane's Catering, Kendall's Ace Hardware. I saw them earlier. They'll be in the parade here. Louis Bar. And as we list these, please uh, try to remember these people. They're the ones that are supporting this wonderful festival and parade. Looks like we have a marching band of youngsters coming up here. Yes, we do. Uh, these folks were mentioned by John Vaughn of uh, ESNDC earlier. This is the Farnsworth Aerospace magnet school. It's a 125 plus unit marching band. Farnsworth Aerospace is a St. Paul public school located on the east side of St. Paul. They're the home of future leaders. Aerospace and engineering is infused in every aspect of their curriculum. It engages imagination and encourages experimentation. Students work on teams to solve complex problems and each success builds confidence for the next challenge. Let's see if we can give them a listen here. A rather large group and looks like they're having fun today. I love their outfits, the nice aerospace outfits and their tams. See these uh, these kids in a lot of different parades around the city. They keep busy during the summer and they do a wonderful job. So great to see them out here enjoying this wonderful day and representing their school. As we mentioned earlier, we have a YMCA Harvest Fest three-on-three -three basketball tournament. That is today. That's at 875 Arcade Street. That's from 2 to 5, so stop up and watch some good 3 on 3 basketball. Next up we have Joy Academy. They are located at 655 Forest Street. They are a Christian Academy at Bethlehem Lutheran Church. Their principal is Robert Orr, and they are a place where classical Christian education meets innovative technology. Great to see those folks out today as well. Got a nice crowd here today watching the parade on the corner of uh, Case and Payne Avenue. Thank you again to Anderson Shoes for allowing us the use of their parking lot. This is an absolutely lovely day. I can't stress enough how great this weather is for a parade. It sure brings the people out and again, the children um, with their parents. This is, this is what it's all about. This is what this festival is for and meant to be. Next up, we're not quite sure who we have. We don't have an Next up, this is a, a group from Plaza del Sol here on the east side, just a little bit up uh, Payne Avenue. Great to see them out here. They've got a lot of uh, wonderful costumes out, and uh, my goodness, I certainly wouldn't want to be carrying one of these huge um, heads. Kind of windy out there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, but they've got some beautiful costumes and dresses, and wonderful to see him, them out here celebrating their, their culture which again, is something that's really, uh, really key to the East Side community. And again, they bring a lot of energy to the parade. They're dancing in their beautiful costumes. Sunrise Banks is a sponsor. And Tammy is the president this year, so they have a very close connection, obviously. 
and uh, they encourage their employees to go out and donate their time and efforts in the community, and we thank them for that. Next up is Kendall's Ace Hardware. Kendall Crosby and the crew. They're located at 840 Payne Avenue. They have a new state-of-the-art building on Payne Avenue on Thalen Boulevard. Local hardware um, with Icon Products uh, here to support the needs of your uh, of the community and uh, everything that you might need to fix up everything at your home. Coming next, St. Paul Fire Department. They have a couple units in the parade. I think the fire marshal is here, right? Steve. Steve Zaccardi. It's great to see the fire, fire station in the uh, parade today. This is uh, station number 17, which uh, supports the east side. Uh, this is a wonderful brotherhood of, of men and women who support um, the community and, and the people in it and, and help them in times of need. Uh, fire department has uh, suffered a loss here in the last couple of weeks with the loss of one of their firemen from station 14. It's, uh, it was amazing to see how they came together as a brotherhood to support the families and each other during, during this time um, and get right back to work right there helping all of the people in the community. So thank you very much to the St. Paul Fire Department. Thank them for all they do to keep us safe. Next up is the Kapuli Quetzal Kwetlaqiu Dance Group. And again, I'm not sure I pronounced that correctly. But it's uh, made up of indigenous people joined by the desire to learn, share, and live the tradition of the Mexican Aztec dance. Led by director Aztec dance captain Susana de Leon, they pursue the spiritual, mental, and physical vocation with music from the sacred drum, coach, shells, seeds, and other instruments from nature. Let's listen and watch. Two more sponsors. We do have the Grand Marshal behind us here. We're hoping he can come in and say hi to us for just a second. Morelli's, Discount Liquor and Deli. Well, that's another famous institution, St. Paul's East Side. Great food, a large selection of adult beverages. Uh, we'd like to thank Tongue and Cheek. They've uh, held meetings there. Some of the Pablo meetings are held at Tongue and Cheek. Their board meetings are held at Governor's. Governor's is another sponsor. Now comes the Parkway Little League. Parkway Little League was established in 1955. Parkway Little League has become a beacon to families who want to expose their kids, ages four to 13, to the game of baseball. And coming over to join us is uh, Eddie Burgess, the Parade Grand Marshal, who is the owner of uh, Schweitz's Bar. Eddie, we're so glad to have you with us today. This is, this is wonderful. How does it feel to be the Grand Marshal? I know you've been a part of the, uh, the organization it's a for a long honor time. And a real privilege to be such a well thought of member of the community and uh, appreciation for all the hard work I put into this project um, since 2012. So it's finally um, open. We're not making money hand over fist, but <laughs> at least being able to be open and staying open a year, I have a good feeling things are going to keep going well. It's Thank wonderful. You. Thank Thanks you so stopping. much for being with us, Eddie. We appreciate it. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful place. I've been in there. It's a great place. Thank you so much. Going by was Parky's, Porky's Bar, Dan, Dan and Jason's Porky's Bar. And we'd like to thank Dan for setting up the tent here for us. They're uh, going by handing out some candy and things, but Dan set up the tent, then we were up there, and then he was tending bars, so he's kind of all over the place today. Neighborhood favorite, they have their $2 pint and friendly atmosphere. Another button special there also, dollar off a drink each day during the Harvest Fest. And next up we have the Woodbury Ambassadors. 
Woodbury Days is held the last weekend in August, and today we have with us the newly crowned ambassadors for Woodbury. They are Miss Woodbury Brittany, Princesses Megan and Brianna, Little Miss Woodbury Noreen, Little Miss Princess Alex and Ava, and Senior Queen Kathy. This is another group, if I want to use the word group, that uh, they're in a lot of parades. We see them all over. They were in Invergrove Heights last week. They were in South St. Paul in June. They're a big part of the Winter Carnival. And uh, it's great to see them and having a good time, obviously. So it's great to see the kids out on the float having a great time, welcoming the folks in the community. A couple more things, um, the Russo brothers, we've mentioned a few of these obviously throughout the, throughout the broadcast here, but again, we can't thank our sponsors enough. If it wasn't for sponsors, the Harvest Fest, the parade, these things just don't happen. It takes a lot of work by the Cabo Board of Directors and help from the sponsors. Thank you again to Anderson Shoes for allowing us the space here in the parking lot today. Uh, it's a great uh, great place to be to watch this wonderful parade out here on the corner of Payne Avenue and Pace. After the Woodbury Days comes Keith Hardy for education. Keith Hardy is for St. Paul School Board. Keith is currently the vice chair of the school board. He has visited all 70 plus schools in St. Paul multiple times. His focus is on equitable treatment and opportunities for all students. Good luck in his run for the school board. He's seeking his third four-year term uh, on the St. Paul Board of Education, first elected in 2007 after 18 years of community service in St. Paul and the Twin Cities. He's an East Sider from the Payne Phelan neighborhood and out here today celebrating with uh, all the folks here on this beautiful day to watch this wonderful parade. We'd like to thank the uh, East Side Lions Club. They're a big part of the East Side. Again, as a proud member of a Lions Club, uh, the motto we serve is truly what they do, and we thank them for all their help in putting on the parade. A lot of candy. This, these folks are still from, uh, from the bar. <laughs> Next up, I'm not. I've oh, got a little monkey on the side of the van there, though. Uh, I, I believe that's more like a rat, but you know, it's, a, it's an <laughs> interesting right. design on the side huh. of a van, and uh, glad they came out to show it to us today. Coming up, coming up after that is the St. Paul Clown Club. Um, St. Paul Clown Club has been around for quite a few years. Uh, since 1946, they've been bringing laughter and smiles to children of all ages. Working with children, elderly, and veterans is the single most reason most of them put on their grease paint and oversized clothes. They're the oldest continuously active clown club in America. They maintain a tradition that was started by World War II veterans to bring cheer to our citizens. Their original clowns were recruited from the fire stations to provide merriment at the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Funny how things keep going back to things like the St. Paul Winter Carnival and, and different festivals around town, all of which are here to support the communities. That last one was Port and Starboard. That was the standard tattoo and piercing. They are at 108 for Wayne Payne. I apologize that we didn't have that ready for you. They offer tattoos and piercings on Payne Avenue. And they pride ourselves on our clean work and clean environment. They have a special with a button. Again, you get that button, you get a tattoo special, you get drink specials food specials, but we apologize for missing them as they went through. More Clown Club. We have, uh, the Clown Club is led by Sandra Costner. They've got a great turnout today. Um, interesting things in the back of their truck. And next up we have the East Side YMCA. East Side YMCA has been serving the East Side community for over 80 years and is more than just a gym and swim. They offer quality programs for all ages, from toddlers in the Early Childhood Learning Center to seniors in the active older adult programs. They have something for everyone. Register at the YMCA for the three-on-three -three basketball tournaments after the Harvest Fest Parade. The YMCA builds strong kids, strong families, and strong communities. Their director is Lion Courtney Troyer. 
and they are sponsoring again the three-on-three -three basketball program uh, after the parade today. So thank you to the Eastside YMCA for being a great part of the St. Paul Eastside community. The basketball tournament three-on-three -three will be held at 875 Arcade Street. That is from two to five. And again, that's sponsored by the YMCA. Next up, we have Home Choice. Home Choice is you can purchase your furniture, appliances, computers, and electronics from Home Choice stores. Flexible ownership options, including layaway and installment credit, and they are loaded at, located at 870 Arcade Street. And next up, we have Party Light, Wendy Burbank, with candles for every occasion, votives, tea lights, jar candles, and much, much more. If you'd like some candles for your home, uh, please reach out to Wendy. I'm sure she'd love to uh, set you up with the Party Light Show. Next up, the Osmond Shrine. Our charity is Shriners Hospital for Children. It is a network of 22 hospitals providing orthopedic, burn, cleft palate, and spinal cord injury since 1922. The Twin Cities Shrine Hospital opened up in 1923, and they've been responsible for improving the quality of life for over a million children. Yes, that is one million children. They're treating right now, they're treating 4,000 children right here in the Twin Cities Shriners Hospital. Uh, they are a national group. We're glad to have them locally, but we see them at a lot of parades. They have, sometimes they have go-karts and four-wheelers and motorcycles and you name it. They're a, they're a great group and they're in a lot of parades and do some very good work. Right now, um, again, the Sandlot Baseball. Tomorrow, we've got uh, stuff going on today yet. Again, the three-on-three -three tournament, the barbecue special, M&H, 721 Arcade Street. Get it while you can. They're open at 2 p.m. until they run out. Now we have a, some horses coming by. We're not sure the name of the group yet. Wonder if this is Chinelos, uh, led by Laura Torres and Reina Cardenas. Beautiful horses, some wonderful, wonderful flags and music coming by. Look at that horse dance over there. That's right in front yeah. of you. Yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. We've got a nice black one coming up here. Beautiful, beautiful animals and some wonderful music. Almost makes you want to get up and dance. It really yes, does. Yes, it does. Uh, probably be somebody else going to get up and dance there rather than us, but that's okay. I think that horse is dancing. What do you think there? I believe so. What a well-trained animal. Look at those. They're gorgeous. Very nice band coming by. Great music. People are moving. People are moving. Yes, they are. Beautiful day for them to be out here again. Saw them go by with the horses earlier today, so I was glad to see them back here in the parade. Some nice, lively music for us. And again, thank you to all the people that have helped us today. Anderson Shoes, Porky's Bar helped set everything up. Um, we appreciate all the help. It makes our job a lot easier here, so thank you. And uh, coming by now, we have Budget Towing. Royal Carlson of Budget Towing and his orange Hummer and Monkey Mikey. Oh, I don't see if monkeys in parades is. very often, but he is yeah. a cute little guy. <laughs> That is one big machine. Look yes, that. it is. And that monkey smart. looks like he's having a great time. He also has a uh, wrecker with us. A couple of them, the way it looks here, a pretty big one coming up from the end for bigger trucks. Um, thankfully, the, nobody's needed that in this parade. They've all uh, they've all made it through so far. They haven't need any tow trucks. That's true. But uh, if anybody does need a tow, you know we've, we've got plenty of them here. So uh, thank you to Budget Towing for being a part of the parade today, coming out on this wonderful day. Some of the things going on again, the uh, AHCC Harvest Family Fest, that is today from 1 to 4 at 1200 Payne. Uh, we also have deals uh, on the buttons, as we've mentioned. There's food and drink buttons again. If you want to find out a little bit more, you can go to www.paba-stpaul, spelled out S-T-P-A-U-L.org. We have a lot of uh, extra deals on there, and also where you can purchase buttons. There's a, there's a list of the past board of directors. It's, it's a great, great site to go and visit. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, Tongue and Cheek, the Vang family, U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank's just down the street. We walked by that today also. 
uh, people again just pull together to make this a great celebration. A few other sponsors Magnolia's family restaurant that's just up the street. I can see the sign from where we sit. Please stop in and patronize these businesses that have helped us out. Again, the Lions Club. Um, I mentioned the Lions Club again because that's a volunteer group, as is PABA, as are most groups that really put on festivals or get things done. I would encourage everyone listening to volunteer for some organization, the YMCA, the Lions, come and see PABA, uh, anything in your local community. It feels good to give back to the community, and also there's a lot of good work that gets done by the volunteers. Getting pretty close now. I can see them. They are getting close, and uh, here they come. We've got uh, the traditional Latino dancers, it looks like we've got coming by. Got some wonderful costumes there and some nice peppy music, and uh, this parade has gone for 10 blocks, and they are still dancing their little hearts out, and uh, good for them. I'm, I'm glad it's them and not me. How about you? <laughs> I couldn't make 10 blocks. I'd have to be in the back of that big black truck that went by a little bit ago. <laughs> But they are colorful and they're very energetic. Uh, just beautiful costumes. They're absolutely gorgeous costumes. Yes, they are. And it looks like they've got uh, people from all ages out there dancing and uh, having a great time celebrating their heritage, which is just a wonderful day to come out here and do that on the east side. We'll just kind of watch them and listen for a second here because they have great music and great rhythm. I'll bet it is a nice day for them. Imagine if it was 90 degrees out here today. That'd be a little bit warm to jump yes, in those costumes yes. all day. Much better weather today than uh, some other parades that, uh, that they've probably been to and I know that we've been to. They're fun to watch. Yes, they are. Beautiful costumes. Lots of energy. Again, uh, thanks to Dan at Porky's. He uh, helped us set up here, put up a tent, put up the side walls set up a table and they even had water for us. I mean, they thought of everything. We really appreciate all the help we've had here today. We've had just a fantastic time at this parade. It's been a great parade, well attended. And the best part for me, the fun part for me is all the children we see. See all these kids out here having a good time. It's great to see the community come out on a beautiful fall day like this and, and just celebrate the different organizations. It's great to see the businesses that are supporting this organization and all the different things that they do. Um, another reminder, we've got the Harvest Fest Marketplace going on up the street at Salvation Army, located at 1019 Payne. Lots of vendors up there. For, goes from 11 to 3 today. Um, looks like they had a lot of great things up there, so uh, certainly something to check out. And you know, there can uh, a bunch of specials can be found all over. Dozens of local retailers all over the neighborhood with your 2015 Harvest Fest button. Specials and attractions that govern, Governor's Fine Food and Drink, uh, food specials at Polly's, Cove, uh, Coffee Cove on Payne, Magnolia's, the West Side Band at Minnesota U Music Cafe, and again, all of the events that we, we've already been to, the pancake breakfast put on. So. Following the parade, we've got six large events today, three on Payne Avenue and three in Arcade. The events on Payne Avenue include the Harvest International Festival, sponsored by Lamora Buena Radio 107.5 at Payne Avenue and Aguero Street, with dance acts, food vendors, and kids' play area. The Harvest Fest Marketplace, which we've mentioned, is a venture show and carnival hosted by the Salvation Army. And here and comes Tracy, Tracy Nelson. She is this year's Parade and Button Program Coordinator. She's also the president of her Eastside Lions Club, so as I mentioned earlier, she's been very, very busy. The volunteer team of nearly 50, which includes the PABA board, the Eastside Lions Club, the junior ROTC cadets and area residents and business owners have made the full-scale parade a reality again, and boy, have they ever. I have certainly enjoyed myself. I'm very honored to be here today to help announce this parade, and thank you so much for having us. This has been a wonderful parade. Tracy, great job. It is a wonderful day for a parade. We Looks like we're getting to the end of it, but uh, here we have the St. Paul Poli Mounted Police um, representatives of that unit 
St. Paul Mounted Patrol was established in 1985. They have six horses and six riders. They ride full time year round. They have their horses' names. I'm not sure which two these are, but they've got uh, several different uh, horses. Their primary purpose of the Mounted Patrol is crime prevention, suppression, and enforcement. You'll most often see them in uh, crowd control situations, and we thank them for being here. We thank the St. Paul Police Department for everything that they do. The St. Paul Police and the St. Paul Fire. Uh, again, we're so lucky to have the quality care that we do between the police and the fire and all the help that they give us at all of the festivals, not just Paint Arcade, but all over the Twin Cities area, St. Paul area. And again, we thank them very much. And I think that looks like it's drawing to a close. I see people walking down the sidewalk here. It does. It looks like they're going to enjoy some other things. So it's been a great day here on Payne Avenue at the Payne Arcade Harvest Festival Parade. Thank you to uh, Payne Arcade Business Association and everybody else here. It's been a wonderful time, and uh, thank you to everybody for coming out today. With that, I'd like to thank you, Kathy, for helping me out here today. I kind of put her on the spot today and roped her in, but she did a wonderful job, so I appreciate all of her help. Thanks to our crew here. They did a wonderful job. Uh, the director, all the sound people, camera people, thank you for coming out and doing what you do.